Hello friends, in this video we will know how to generate mid surface. So first of all, we will know what is mid surfacing. So mid surfacing is used in case of 2D meshing. So let us consider this example, when to use 2D elements. So 2D elements are used when two of the dimensions are very large as compared to the third dimension. Consider the example of this plate. In this plate, we have length, its width and the thickness. So the length and width are much higher as compared to the thickness. We can say this is a 3D model. But to simplify the geometry, what we do is we create a 2D model of this. To create a 2D model, we extract the mid surface from this geometry. See, this model has a thickness, that is thickness is T. When we generate the mid surface, we create a surface into the middle part. So the thickness is T by 2, that is half of T from the downward, also half of T from the top. So this is called mid surfacing. Mid surfacing is very useful in case of sheet metal components, plastic components. So it is highly recommended for components where thickness is very less. To understand it more deeply, let us go to this picture. In this picture, it is showing 1D meshing, 2D and 3D meshing. In 1D meshing, we have bar elements. In the 2D meshing, we don't have any thickness like we can see in this meshing. In the 3D meshing, we have thickness. So it creates a volume. When we create a 3D mesh, it creates a lot of elements like we can see in this model. The thickness is very less. So what we can do is we can extract the middle surface from this and we can generate a 2D meshing. We will go to the software and know how to generate the mid surface. So I go to hyper mesh and go to this open. And suppose I select the part that is clip dot mid surface. Select this part and open. And we can see this is a 3D model and geometry is simplified. It means we have already cleaned up and repaired the geometry. There are no free edges. So I select this shaded view and now we can see it has a thickness. So thickness is very less as compared to other dimensions. And we have to generate the mid surface of this. To generate the mid surface, we have option of mid surfacing. Now we can do this by two methods. So we can generate automatic mid surface and also we can manually generate the mid surface. So I go to this mid surface option, select the option that is auto mid surfacing. And now we have to select the surface. To select the surface, what we do, take the cursor into this model, hold down the shift key, and then hold down the left click of the mouse, and then drag the mouse. Make sure the complete model is into this rectangle. And now the complete model is selected, click on this extract. It will take some time to extract the model. And now the mid surface is extracted. We can see in the component, we have another component that is middle surface. So I go to return, zoom on to the part and we can have the preview of mid surface. To verify that surface is created at the middle, we can go to distance option, select two point that is first point and second point. So the distance is 0 0.45 and then I reset it. First point, I select this first point and then this is the second point. And once again, this is 0 0.45. So the surface has been created at the middle. So I select reject, return, zoom out in the part. I go to this components and turn off this thickness part. Make a uncheck on this and also the meshing. And now when I zoom in onto this, we can see we have a surface part. It has no thickness. So in this way we can generate the mid surface. Now we can simplify the geometry as we do in case of free edges. We can create mid surface manually. So I turn on this thickness part, select this middle surface, right click and delete this. Then go to mid surface. So we have to select this final edit tools. 
in this select surface pair and now we have to select two surfaces suppose I select these two surfaces this is the first surface this top surface and then surface 2 select the surface from the bottom select the surface and then select extract and now we can see mid surface has been extracted so in this way we can extract the mid surface manually so this is very useful when we have a very complex geometry and the software does not automatically identify that which surface it has to create mid surface and which to not and now we will know what are the benefits of creating the mid surface so first of all so accuracy in case when we have very little thickness is very similar when we do with respect to the solid meshing so there is not much significant change in the accuracy as compared to the solid meshing when we do the solid meshing we need to create a volume mesh when we create a volume mesh we need to create a large number of elements this large number of elements we need more time to create the mesh when we create a solid meshing we need a lot of preparation because solid meshing let takes a lot of time and we need to think about the geometry and then post processing since we have a large number of elements in the solid meshing the post processing takes lots of time so that is why mid surfacing is useful that it reduces the time shell mesh approach create a fast running accurate simulation again mid surfacing is very fast and it reduces the time and also the accuracy is very good so that is why mid surfacing is very useful